surprising because Sharp shot the ball really well from deep this year, 43%. Nice pass, and Chetengue finishes inside. Mm -hmm. I thought it was interesting chatting with Courtney Banghart. Carolina steals the ball. She said they're basically redefining the way they play basketball today without Bailey. Close the game out. You identify with those good free throw shooters. Poonin comes up with a loose ball. Nia Daniel to the basket. Well, North Carolina has done an excellent job of speeding up the tempo of the game right here. Now comes full court pressure and another steal. Careless turnover, and the Tar Heels are within two. Really smart woman. I'm still trying to figure out how that undergraduate girl science degree from Dartmouth. Joanna Burnaby McNamee and, and Coach McCauley at Duke as well. Jumper put in by Muhammad. It's a telling stack. Carolina starting 6 of 14 and just 8 of their last 30 since. But maybe that will get them going again. Number 2 on Udo. Muhammad, same play, same result. Tar Heels within two. Bennett to inbound. Coonan going to have to chuck it. At the buzzer, it comes up short. Maybe Scruggs got a piece of it. And we will play at least five more minutes. Oh, he's going to have to shoot it. Barely grazes the iron and creates a fast break for Shayla Bennett. Bennett right at Ratsa, and she'll have a chance for a three-point play to give Carolina the lead. Church fires. Bakes it in for three. Bennett the steal, and missed the layup again. She'll flip it in at the buzzer, but Lake Forest escapes. 82-79 in overtime.